I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Happy Monday. All right. I have recently launched a brand new class called Four Seasons Quilt Camp. I love this class. Had so much fun machine quilting along with all of you. So as I was quilting along with you all, you know, as we worked our way down to the winter section on this quilt, I just had to be a little bit wild and change things up. It's just who I am. I'm always doing something crazy over here. So today I'm going to be sharing how I machine quilted this modern geometric background filler down at the bottom of the Four Seasons Quilt Camp class sample in the winter section. So a few of the products that I am going to be using here today, you're going to see a lot of hand guided quilting using my mini four in one machine quilting ruler. Now you can see in the video that I'm using the mini four in one machine quilting ruler and I have our piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip attached to the top side of the ruler. We have both of these available on our website, pieceandquilt.com. You can see this ruler probably is one of my most popular. I use it a lot because it's so comfortable to hold in your hand as you're guiding your long arm machine or your sit down machine. This ruler is really, really great because it fits really well in the throat of a sit down machine as well. As I'm stitching today, you're going to see I'll be doing all my quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine. Right now, I'm loving stitching in the stitch regulated mode. So that's what I'll be stitching in. And I have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. The thread that I'm going to be using on my top is So Fine, color number 402. On my bobbin, I'm using bottom line, color number 624. I'm actually using the pre-wound super bobs. I've been using those a lot lately, and I'm really loving how they're running on my machine. So when I find something that works really well for me, I tend to stick with it for quite a while. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. The batting that you'll see in this quilt top today is one layer of the Quilter's Dream blend batting. It's a little bit flatter batting, but it quilts beautifully. And once this quilt is done and bound and washed, it will stay so soft and beautiful. We have all of these products that I've mentioned today. Plus, you can enroll in the Four Seasons Quilt Camp class over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. But for now, I hope you find a bit of inspiration. Let's get stitching. So here's this super, super cute row on the Four Seasons Quilt Camp class sample. Look how cute it turned out. You can still enroll in this awesome class at any time and work at your own pace. And just remember, anytime you enroll in any of our classes at Peace and Quilt, you do gain unlimited lifetime access. Look at that awesome geometric background filler. Let's focus on that today. We're going to start out by doing a bit of marking, adding in some reference lines. I am going to be using the Mark Be Gone marker. I'm going to start out here using a long straight ruler. The ruler that I am using is one that I purchased from the Quilted Pineapple. It's an awesome machine quilting ruler. What I want you to notice here is how I'm using the lines that my quilt gives me. And I'm going off of those lines and marking a straight line through my section. So you can see here when I go over the winter section or the words, I just draw my line right over that. Now we are going to speed this video up so you're not hanging out here just watching me mark a quilt forever, but I think you'll get a concept of how I simply just start in one point. You can see here I started on the gnome and just randomly work my way around marking a whole bunch of straight lines.
To stitch out this design, I have actually gone all the way around my background section and stitched in the ditch. Now I'm going to start filling in the sections that I've created with my marking. Because I do all of my quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine, I do like to do my quilting from left to right, top to bottom. Here you can see because I do have this basted out nicely, I am going to actually start quilting here in the bottom left corner of this section. If it were like across a whole entire quilt that I was quilting this design, I would actually probably start at the top and work my way across. But for this one, I feel like I'm okay starting in that bottom left corner. So you can see how I'll start stitching along that straight line. I'm using the side of my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler with our piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip attached to the top of it. And I'm outlining all the way around that snowflake. I love how outlining around shapes, whether they're appliqued or if it's like this, actually a printed panel. I love how outlining around shapes really helps to define spaces. On a quilt like this, even though it's a panel, the machine quilting can make it look as if it's actually a pieced quilt with applique on it. Anytime when machine quilting straight lines like I'm going to be doing here today, whenever you turn, you want to make sure that your machine takes a stitch to create the point. So that might mean that you actually have to stop and let your machine take that stitch before switching to the next direction. So once I have my first snowflake stitched around, I kind of have a space defined. Now I'm going to start filling in that space with some heavy straight lines. I want this design to be really heavy. You could quilt the same design, the same concept with looser quilting. Here you can see I'm using the side of my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, lining that up right on top of my previous stitch line. By doing that and working with a ruler foot, I know that my stitches, my stitching lines are going to be evenly spaced a quarter of an inch apart. So you'll notice as I'm traveling, I'll travel to the point where the side of my foot touches the previous stitch line. Then from there, I'll stitch a line and I'll repeat this process. So to make this background filler more interesting, have a lot going on there with the straight lines, I'm going to fill in all of the spaces with straight lines, but alternating my directions of those straight lines. Really, the only goal besides keeping those lines as straight as I can is making sure they're going in all sorts of different directions. So I might make the straight lines go based off of one of those angles that I've marked out or the side of the block. Any line that I can use that's different than the previous one, I'm going to use that and start quilting from there. So there's not a definite rhyme or reason. It's not like, okay, this one's horizontal, this one's vertical, this one's diagonal. It's really how I felt as I was stitching. As you can see here, I'll continue on stitching out this straight line design and I will stop and stitch around each of those snowflakes as I work my way. Now we can hang out here for quite a while. I'm going to show you a little bit of quilting and we're going to speed it up. This is actually about 16 minutes of machine quilting that's shrunk down so that you don't have to hang out here all day long. But when machine quilting with rulers, it definitely can be a slower process. Make sure that you always remember gentle pressure.
Once you're done with that machine quilting, you can mist away those marked lines and look how freaking awesome this background filler is. I absolutely love it, especially on this quilt. Don't forget, you can enroll in Four Seasons Quilt Camp, our newest class at any time on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. What does a piece of cheese tell you during a game of tag? Cheese it. Wild dance with the microphone. Hey everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back, happy Monday. All right, I, because it fits really well in the throat of a sit down machine as well. As I'm stitching today, you're going to see I'll be doing all my quilting here with it for quite a while. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. The batting that you'll see in this quilt top today is one layer of the quilter's dream. But for now, I hope you find a bit of inspiration. Let's get stitching. <laughs> 